This is one of the most exclusive motorsport programs in the world. The Exos Experience and the Type 125 by Lotus is an innovative program specifically designed to offer an elite group of drivers the chance to rival the heady performance heights of Formula One. It is unique. It is inspirational. This film gives you the opportunity to explore the Exos experience as we take a look at the story so far. I guess nobody really expected Lotus to come up with a project uh, such as the, the, the Exos project. And more than it is an ambitious project, it is a beautiful project. Uh, it, it combines everything what Lotus has done in the last uh, 60 years, if you want. It's all about the racing experience. It's all about being the main driver, being the guy at the steering wheel. And what we wanted is to try to, to get the peak of motor racing, which is Formula One, combining with the private uh, hobby uh, racing driver, if you want, so that he can experience this beautiful uh, 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 experience of, 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 of racing a Formula One uh, car. A significant challenge for the design team was to conceive a car capable of accommodating drivers of varying ability, size and stature. This car has all the, the, the engineering uh, capacities and knowledge and experience that Lotus Engineering actually has, uh, has built up in the, in the past 30-40 years. From the drawing board to production, work begins on the first Lotus T125. The latest state-of-the-art technology is in place, producing precisely what the designers have specified. And at the heart of the T125 is the Cosworth GP V8. The design team has selected an engine that will provide maximum power while delivering an exhilarating performance. What we'd elected to use for the basis of the, the T125 um, was an Indy racing engine design that we had raced before. The first thing we wanted to do is say is to try and understand this is all about the, the lap time behind the wheel and the, the customer's experience. You need to be able to make a mistake on a corner and still have a great lap. You know, you don't want one mistake on a corner to ruin your whole lap. And, and that is all about engine capacity. So the first thing we did in developing the engine was to take it from the three litres of the Indy Racing engine up to 3.8 litres. And so that, I say, immediately gives you a much better um, power band and, and makes it much more tolerant um, to, you know, a lap which is, is presumably not going to be quite a Formula One driver's lap. With intensive dyno testing underway, the first body parts for chassis one reach completion. It's these aerodynamic shapes that contribute to the performance profile of the T125. It is very, very challenging and very exciting, especially concerning the, the, the timing, uh, that the schedule timing that is very, very tight and uh, the kind of performance that for gentleman driver is quite, uh, is quite high. We need to um, provide a, a, a technologic level that is high enough to guarantee the safety to the driver and the performance, but with a, a cost approach that is quite reasonable. Back at Cosworth, simulating the power delivery of the engine in a virtual racing world, the pressures, temperatures and components were checked. The thoroughbred GPV8 demonstrating amazing resilience and performance. It has been a big challenge. We've had a, a, a lot of people working on it. Uh, one of the biggest changes we've had to make to the engine is in the induction system to get it small enough to fit under the engine cover. Because the engine cover is, say, a very close in silhouette to a Formula One car, um, which, is, which is much smaller and tighter than an Indy car. At the factory, the T125 is being assembled. And James Rossiter, the T125 test driver, arrived at the car build and had his chance to assess its quality. My first impression of the 125 is how amazing it looks, how close it looks to a Formula One car in its final stages, and how exciting this project is going to be. It's good, there's definitely enough room for a big variation of sizes. I'd like to think that through my experience we can deliver a car that, uh, that will be very, very close to Formula One level. I think that working with the engineers that we have on board with the project, with the designers and with everybody, we can get the car to as close to a Formula One level as is physically possible. With the engine development complete, the new year arrived and the car was built for the first time. 
The initial test in Vallelunga is just days away. Aside from the intense program of assembling the car, the new race circuit at Group Loader's headquarters in Hethel, Norfolk, has been under construction and will be completed for the first Exos Experience event this April. Autosport International, Birmingham, England, early January, and Lotus united their 2011 grid of race cars at the world's biggest race car show. It's the first public appearance of the Lotus T125 with F1 legend Jean Alesi. His years of race experience have been invaluable to the development of this inspired customer race car. I'm part of the, the team. I will, uh, I will do my best to, uh, to give all my uh, input for this uh, 125 car. And uh, it's unique. It never happened uh, before and uh, in my time to be uh, behind a steering wheel in Formula 1. You have to be a competitor. You have, you have to be a Grand Prix driver. Today, uh, with the Lotus 125, you are this luck to uh, be able to be your own uh, owner of your car. From Birmingham to the Vallelunga circuit, located just north of Rome, Italy. This is a certified FIA test track and is used by many of the Formula One teams. It provided the ideal location for the T125 to have its first outing. Following weeks of car build in the workshop, the early morning sun and cold Italian air was welcome and awakened even the most experienced members of the team. Well, I hope it warms up a little bit. <laughs> it's going to be pretty interesting. Planning and preparation. This was the moment. The first run and the first chance to assess the initial performance and reliability of the T125. The car seems very user friendly. Um, it hasn't thrown up any unknowns and uh, yeah, it seems to be uh, fairly consistent. We made a couple of changes to the setup. We made a change to the anti roll bar at the rear uh, just to give ourselves a bit more rear grip. And then we changed the tyre pressures as well quite a lot just to optimise the Michelin tyres. For Jean Alesi, his chance to observe from trackside the behaviour of the car. The performance of the car is incredible. Good. It's for sure much more grip than a DP2 car. Thank you. <laughs> now you have to push, please. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> This four kilometer circuit is designed with many of the characteristics a team looks for when assessing the performance of a new racing car. The electronic system to control the, uh, the power it has to be tuned uh, very well. And uh, it's what uh, the, the process and it's quite slow because uh, there is many uh, steps. Uh, you have to go one by one, you know, you cannot jump from uh, one to six. So that's why it takes time. The engine today is much better much smoother power delivery mm -hmm. and it feels much more power as well. The, the feeling of when you, when you push the throttle to the floor and you get crushed into the seat and the, the car's flying down the straight and then you hit the brake pedal and it feels like all your insides are going to come out the front of you and you turn and the car's just so reactive. It's, it's like a fighter plane on the ground and it is as close as you're going to get to a Formula 1 car without ever driving a Formula 1 car. And to be able to give that experience to someone who really wants to go out and experience that is going to be a very unique thing. That's what Lotus can deliver. It is all about passion and emotion. If you try to build up a car like this for, for, for clients that, that want to be a Formula 1 racer, but what came out is, is a great piece of art, is a great piece of engineering. It's a very, very, very close to road car experience, but it's obviously a Formula 1 car. From concept to reality, the Lotus T125. And today, here at the Yas Marina circuit, you'll understand for yourself the reasons why this car and the Exos experience are irresistible. Mm -hmm.